Alright, today guys, we're out at Lake Kickapoo for this episode. Like the other lakes this year that we've covered, this one is also a Red River Basin lake. Lake Kickapoo is located in Archer County, 29 miles from Wichita Falls, Texas. The surface area is 6,028 acres. Max depth, 48 feet, impounded in 1947. The fish species in this lake contain largemouth bass, white bass, white crappie, channel catfish, blue catfish, flathead catfish, sunfish, gar, and shad. Alright, let's get this video started and see what kind of fish we take out at Lake Kickapoo. And we're hooked up now. Right here, we were using a slip weight with a piece of dead shad on it. So we're going to see what we got on this. So this feels like a pretty good fish because of the way it's coming in, but no, it's not. There's a tree hooked up with this fish, it looks like. So we're going to get this thing on in the bank and hopefully still got the fish on it. And sure enough, we still caught our fish, even though we caught a tree limb with it also. So it looks like we caught a pretty decent sized channel cat right here. So we'll get it out of this tree and see what we got and see how good it is. As you see, I got my nice little circle hook right there that's caught him perfectly in the jawline. So when I remove this hook, he's all nice and fine. But instead of releasing this one, we're going to go ahead and keep him because he's legal size and nice little channel. So we're going to throw him up there and keep him and cook him later. And now Josh is hooked up, my buddy that always goes fishing with me, and he's got something on there. So we're going to see what he reels on in. Oh, and as me and Jethro take off, it looks like Josh has got a bass over here. Oh, and it's a nice largemouth bass he's got. So, so so far we're doing pretty well out here at Lake Kickapoo. Got us a nice sized bass, a nice channel cat, and let's keep going to see how we do. All right, guys, we're gonna keep this video going. Oh, and we're hooked up with another one. So, I wanna see what we got on this one now. Hopefully, it's a big one. caught us a little bitty channel cat right here. He's a little big guy, so we're going to take him off this hook and throw him on the back. Alright, me and Jethro took a little walk and we came back and Josh just caught something here. And he's caught another little channel cat for the day, so obviously there's a bunch of little channel cats. But now we're going to play up here by the boat ramp and I'm going to play with some bait and see... Oh, yep, caught some bait already. And this is going to be like a little a little sunfish and he's gonna be a red breast sunfish actually these little guys work great for catfish they love them also I've used them for uh, bass and caught bass on them also so these are an all-around pretty good bait for catfish and bass all right guys so we're gonna keep playing at this boat ramp and catching some more bait on way on our catfish poles as you see caught another little red breast so we're gonna take him off this hook and throw them on in the bait bucket and I'm just using little bitty worms on these guys like taking a night crawler and pinching it in half and using a very small tiny little hook so and then my friend just caught a one right there she decided to come with us today so loading up on some bait for the rest of this trip all right guys as you see we've got something pretty good on this one it is just taking this uh, line off this reel right here um, nine times out of ten, this is probably going to be a gar because of the way I was fishing. It had a slip bobber on it with a uh, dead shad. So, gar tend to be a little bit more on top of water than at the bottom. So, I'm going to tighten this up and see if I can get this thing on in here and see what we got. Alright guys, and we're still fighting this fish, so this is probably going to be a pretty good sized fish I got on here. Plus also I've had to keep the drag let out on this because this fishing line on here is not as high of a poundage as what I'm used to normally running. So, had time to switch camera positions and everything as we finished getting this thing reeled on in. So, now we're finally about to see what we caught and sure enough we caught us a gar. So we're going to get it on up, see what kind of gar it is and see how big it is. And what we got. Alright, and as you see, there's my slip bobber on there. I have a pretty good size one, so I can have a heavier weight on it. And this is a nice long nose gar right here that I caught. It's pretty big, it's pretty pretty, so yeah, that's a 
these guys are fun as hell to catch, but they're really hard to clean, but they're still good to eat. Alright, so this has been a pretty good trip of Lake Kickapoo. These are some bigger fish I've caught at Lake Kickapoo over in one of the trips I've taken. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have the camera going on this trip, so... But there are some bigger fish in this thing, as you see. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and have a good one, and check out the next one.